The 4th of July holiday weekend is just a couple of days away, and that means, of course, it's time to fire up the grill with the classics, burgers and hot dogs. But there will be something else on the menu if you're heading to a favorite local 4th of July event. We sent our Tamara Lopez to Isotopes Park to find out what's on their menu this 4th. Tamara, of course, a tough assignment today. What do they have cooking? Yeah, you know, Julie, I spent my afternoon tasting a lot of great food. I know it's a really tough job, right? But someone had to do it, and I drew the short stick on there. But I did find all that good food at Isotopes Park, and I even met the mastermind behind the latest limited edition food collection. Well, if you come to the ballpark to, to lose weight, the wrong place to be. Jim Griego is the executive Anything chef for the Albuquerque Isotopes. I want people from Albuquerque to be able to come to the Isotopes Park and find something that's different or something from another country or something that's unusual or something that's going to make you messy. He's the mastermind behind creations like the sushi dog or the fan favorite, the I Chihuahua Burger. After working for a hospital for a long time, Grego knew he wanted to spice things up at the ballpark. I couldn't use salt, I couldn't use flavor, I couldn't use anything like that. <laughs> Just kidding. But, you know, here I can go all the way to the ceiling. You know, they'll let me do everything. It's time to batter up again for his newest collection on July 3rd. My favorite is, uh, well, I call it the piggy burger. So it has a hamburger and I put pig candy on top of it. It's a spicy burger. Um, it'll, it'll light up all your sensations there. The collection is barbecue themed, but you won't find your typical 4th of July holiday hot dogs. It's a hot dog with pulled pork on top of it. It has fried onion strips on it. And if those don't sound good. Cuckacue is what it's called and it, it's a pulled chicken that's um, done here and it has crispy jalapenos on it. And then the last one I call it the Mac Attack and it's macaroni and cheese and it's got uh, barbecue burnt ends on top of it. Um, it's a savory sauce so a little bit sweeter. Griego says he's grateful to the isotopes for giving him this creative freedom and he says he's got some new recipes tightly under wraps. Everything's a secret. And next year, I've even got some bigger plans. Next year, I've come back from a country, so. <laughs> so again, all those dishes will be ser served up only on the July 3rd day game. And there will also be fireworks, of course, but tickets are going to be pretty limited right now. They're almost sold out. So if you want to grab some, now's your chance. All right, Tamara, sign me up for the pulled pork hot dog. That's for sure. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thank you.